Hello everybody, it's Stephen here for The Idiot Quilter and welcome to my weekly episode, episode number 199 for January the 3rd, 2023 and Happy New Year to you all. And let's jump right into what I've been working on and here's something I've been working on for quite a while and I've shown it to you in bits and pieces and that is the Mosaic Star Quilt. And as you can see in this picture, it is all completely done. It has a border on it. It has binding and it has been quilted. And I'm really happy with the way the quilting came out on this. Uh, now, here's just the backing and you can't see the quilting very well uh, here on the backing. Uh, not in this picture. In real life, it actually shows up because I used uh, a goldy yellow kind of thread on it for this particular pattern. So if we go over here and take a little bit of a closer shot, you can see here that um, you can actually see the quilting. And it turned out really nice. Now this is the pattern by Stephanie Stitches. And Stephanie and I are going to do a special broadcast at some point where we're going to compare her version of this quilt and my version of this quilt and talk a little bit more about it. So stay tuned for an announcement about that very soon. And the other one I've been working on, this is the Color Splash quilt. This is a block of the month class that I am taking. So we're up to the end of month four and it's all together for those first four months, as you can see. And this is all applique these little petals around here. Um, I wasn't sure when I signed up for this class whether I was going to enjoy doing applique or not, but to be honest, I actually am enjoying doing the applique. Now there are more months to go on this. I know the next month, according to the preview of what I have seen of what this finished quilt is going to look like, um, there is a lot of applique in the next round of rows in here. Um, so when I get that done, or when I get the instruction, I will show it to you. But so far, I'm loving this quilt. Um, okay, so that takes me to what's new. Now, you know that for Christmas, if you've watched um, some of my other videos, that Walter bought me uh, some AccuQuilt companion set dies, which are very, very pricey um and we had a little difficulty getting these and we talked all about that but we did finally pick it up but walter did surprise me by also getting for me another companion set he bought me two more companion sets he bought me the one for the 10 inch cube and the one for the 8 inch cube and the one i just showed you was for the 6 inch cube the booklet that's there as well is a pattern book. And at first when I saw it, I thought it was probably the same pattern book that AccuQuilt threw in with the last order we got directly from them. It is not. It is meant to go with the companion sets. Now, I haven't looked through this book but yet, and that's one of my on my to-do list because uh, Walter has, believe it or not, Walter took a quick look through this booklet already. And he says there's some really nice designs in this so that's what i'm going to check out a little bit later on and i'll let you know how that all turns out um so yeah this was a great um christmas gift um walter got it for a really good price which is why he ordered it from the states and why we went through the hell we did getting it here but the end result was well worth it so i am well stocked up with AccuQuilt dies and you know i love my accuquilt system okay something else we purchased ultimate sewing had a sale on uh fabric and uh on christmas fabric i think it was 50 percent off uh, a meter so you know their prices are already pretty low i think they charge about 16 dollars a meter uh for christmas fabric it might have been 17 but either way 50 percent off pretty good so I bought some for next year and I bought uh, these five different fabrics and I bought two meters of each of those as well. So I am pretty much well stocked up for Christmas fabrics. Now you're going to say, yeah, but why are you buying it now? Because there'll be new fabrics that'll come out uh, later this year when we get closer to thinking about Christmas again. <laughs> we just went through Christmas. Do we want to think about it again? Um, and you're right. However, 
a lot of these manufacturers of Christmas fabrics don't come out with that much that's new. At least I have found in my experience. It's usually the same old, the same old, or, you know, they come out with one, two, three different uh, sort of different new designs, but that's about it. Um, and of course, you know, some shops get it in by August. Others don't get it until November. Well, to me, if you get it into your shop by November, it's too late. You know, you snooze, you lose. Um, and that's another thing too. Uh, you've got to nail down your Christmas fabrics as soon as they're available in your local quilt store, because they will be picked over very quickly. So I thought I would get ahead of the rush. Also, my plan is that I will do a Christmas project maybe after every one or every two other non-Christmas projects just to keep ahead of the game for next year because I ended up starting my Christmas projects in August and it seemed like that's all I worked on all the way through till December. In fact, it was all I worked on pretty much. So I don't want to do that again because by the time Christmas comes, you're sick of Christmas when you're working on that many projects for a long time. So that's that's my plan. We'll see how that works out. So guess what came in the mail? Yes, the January Sewers Club box. Now, I didn't expect it to come this early. In fact, it was just before New Year's where uh, I saw that on my credit card I'd been charged for this. And uh, it actually arrived before January the 1st, which is making me a little worried. Um, are they just trying to get ahead of the rush or is this how they're going to do other things? Am I going to get February's box in a week's time? I don't know. Actually, I'm hoping not because, you know, I'm paying over $60, $66 Canadian for this box um, every month. And that's fine. There's 15 fat quarters in this. That's a pretty good value. Um, I do have to pay shipping on it. That's included in that price and tax, of course. So all of that $66 is everything. And it gets me really excited to open these boxes. And, and just as a side note, I have reached out to this company to see if I can be an ambassador for them. But let's take a look at what's in the box. I did give you a little sneak peek of inside the box on this past week's um, So Chatty. But I never took the fabrics out. So I'm going to do that this morning. So here's the box. And here's all the lovely fabrics. Now, I just noticed something else. On the outside of this box is exactly the same box as the December one, the Christmassy one came in. It says special delivery and there's snowflakes on it. It's got kind of a Christmassy look to it. I'm wondering, I'm just wondering, why are they sending it out if this is for January in a Christmassy box? Or is that what it always looks like? I wouldn't think so. I don't know. Just thinking here. Just speculating. Okay. So here's all the fabrics. Now, I thought there was a card. And when I opened up the... Oh, there it is. It fell out. Yeah. They also include a card that tells you the name of the fabrics. So I guess if you wanted to, to order a uh, yardage of this, you could. So, um, I'm not going to go through the names of all of these that are here, because I think it's just going to make the video too long. I'm just going to hold up the fabrics for you very quickly so you can see what each one looks like. So here's the first fabric. And in my assessment, would I pick this off a shelf? No, not my color scheme. It's gre green, stark greens, some stripes. It's kind of interesting, though, the pattern. So, you know, the one thing about the subscription box, why I am subscribing to it is because it's going to do this. It's going to throw in some fabrics or, that are ones that I would not automatically be um, attracted to on the shelf in a quilt store. But having said that, this will help me think outside of my box. So that's one example of that kind of thing. Um, here's another one. And they do curate these so that many of these fabrics will go together that are in the one box. Again, this is one I wouldn't necessarily be attracted to, but uh, I think this one has potential as a bit of a blender. Another one in the yellow. Again, one thing that I am lacking in my collection of fabrics 
are yellows and oranges because they are not colors I am attracted to. But now I've got some. And speaking of orange, there is an orange batik. And of course, I love batiks. And I like batiks almost in any color. I don't know why. They just seem to go together so well. Now, I guess we're thinking about Valentine's Day because this one's Valentine's Colors and it's Little Hearts. Again, I don't usually do anything that has a, a theme for like Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, bah, humbug. Another one in that color scheme. You see what I mean? Like those first three fabrics, four fabrics all kind of go together. And now we're moving into this shade. These reds and these pinks all go together. And there's definitely a theme happening here because we have roses, flowers. Again, if you were doing something, you wanted something for Valentine's Day, those three fabrics I just showed you would all work very well with that. And now we're getting into something a little bit, okay, this is ugly. In my opinion, this is ugly. I would never, well, now that I've said that and I open it up a little bit further, and I still wouldn't be attracted to it in a, in a quilt store. However, we shall see. We shall see. Of course, we have a, a solid. It's a teal. And that's nice. And you see, now we're moving into this, that these ones would go together. And this would go along with it too. It's another batik. I love batiks. This one I love. This one is little, I don't know what they are. Little teardrops or something like that. And now we're moving into sort of the blue spectrum. And this one would go with that as well. Let me hold the two up. So you see, it's all being curated. Then we're moving into some purples. I like purple. Another purple batik. And a solid. And a small print. Again, so here we go. So these three fabrics all go together. So it's very much like every three back quarters in the box go together. At least that's what it's looking like to me. Now there are 15. So this first one is maybe the odd duck out. Although it could work with the yellows so that's january's box for this sewers club how do i rate this box on a scale of one to ten i'll give this month's box a six okay and that's because this is not really my color palette however as i said i need to think outside of the box so am I going to discontinue it at this stage based on two boxes? No, I am not. Um, have I had any that I didn't want? As far as you can say, you know, there are certain designs or certain uh, themes or certain colors you don't want in a box. No, I basically said I all the colors were fine. Um, so that's probably why I got that. I'm not sure if you can go in and change your choices. I think you might be able to. Um, but I'm going to leave it for now. I'm not going to change those around. And uh, yeah, so I will continue for another month anyways. Also, I'm waiting to hear from them about whether or not they want me to be an ambassador for them. Uh, but I think it is fairly good value for the money. Um, yeah. $66 per month is a little on the expensive side. However, I'm getting it every month. You do have the choice to get it uh, every other month if you wish. And I think there's even once every quarter or something like that. So you can pick and choose how frequently you want to get one of these boxes. Um, but right now I have it every month. So we'll see what February brings. And I'll be sure to share that with you then. Okay. So, um, let's talk uh, about one of the projects that was in the Missouri Star Christmas box. Stephanie Stitches and I have decided that we're going to do most of those projects, and we're going to then uh, record 
our reactions to those projects and show how ours turned out. Well, I'm going to give you, I don't know when we're going to do this yet. We haven't set the exact date yet, but we will very soon. And I did one of the kits that came in the Missouri Star Quilt Christmas box, and it was uh, for a mini quilt and mug rug set. And uh, it turned out okay. I ran into a little problem with it. But that was not a problem with the pattern. It was a problem with me. <laughs> I kind of misread something, but I was able to correct it. And the final result was very nice. Now, I am not a big mini quilt lover, nor a big mug rug lover. Um, definitely not mug rugs. I seldom make mug rugs. However, I did the kit. And uh, after Stephanie and I show our attempts at this project, uh, then it's going to go in a spot where I will hang on to it as a potential gift. Meaning that this is something if I need a hostess gift or something like that, uh, if somebody would invite us over to their place for dinner, <laughs> we never get invited out. But just on the off chance or they come here, I've got something to give them. So, yeah. So stay tuned for when Stephanie and I uh, do our reveal of these kits. Okay, that takes me to a demo. For Christmas, Walter bought me the companion sets for the 6-inch and the 8-inch cubes from AccuQuilt. Now, you can do a lot with the 8-inch and the 6-inch cubes, or any of the cubes for that matter, from AccuQuilt when it comes to making blocks. But these just add a little bit more variety to the blocks you can create. This one set for the 6-inch, as you can see here, is called the uh, Mix and Match set, and it's angles. And the other set are corners, and these are the two 6-inch cube sets. Um, he also got me the 8-inch as well. So this really opens up a whole lot uh, more opportunities for making a lot of other blocks. Now, along with those... You can download and print out information about what you will get. And for this, this is the corner set. And you have to use it with the uh, six inch quilt uh, cube. But all of these, 72 different block patterns you can make with those. But with the angles as well, you can make another 72 different ones. So. In combination with these two, you have probably over 148 or 144 blocks. Am I doing the math right? Yes, I am. So let's take a look inside this description. Well, first of all, let's take a look at the cube box itself. Let's grab the angles one. So you've got two boxes within the box. This one is what they always put with their all of their cubes. There's a, C, a CD that uh, tells you about them. Doesn't give you a heck of a lot of information. It's just sort of an overview of how to use the system. They have a pattern book. So this has all kinds of different blocks you can make. And there is a cutting mat as well. Okay, let me get it up here so you can see. There's also a cutting mat. Uh, to go along with it, which is definitely something you need if you're going to use the AccuQuilt. So that's in a little, oops, I'm dropping everything all over everything. I'm a klutz. Okay. So let's pull out the other box. Now these are the dies themselves. And I love the way AccuQuilt packages all of this. These are very substantial boxes, great for storing. And uh, you know exactly what you have. I have them all on my shelves. And because the end is printed very clearly, it even shows you the various shapes and gives you the numbers because they do everything by numbers, uh, which is good, which is good as well. Um, I have no problem locating what I need when I need it. So let's open this up. Let's move these out of our way and get this into shot. And so here we have the four dies that come with this set. Now, I haven't opened any of these yet, and I'm not going to take the time to do that now, but this is the die, and each die also has a basic pattern on it and tells you how to use this particular die. Now, it does say for use with Go Cube Mix and Match 6-inch block, and they give you the number of that, 
and the Gold Cube 6 inch companion set angles, which is what this particular box is. So, yeah, a lot of things you can make with these add ons. Now, if we take another look in this booklet that came with this, you can see that there are quite a few. And let me just move this down a little bit so you can see it better. So you see, there are patterns showing you how to make all of these various cubes. So if you don't have accu, uh, if you don't have electric quilt for designing, or you don't want to get out a piece of graph paper and do your own, be very easy to design a quilt using these particular cube sets. And you know you can mix and match whatever you want. So. I am going to do a few of these and maybe I'll do a series on making a quilt using the AccuQuilt system um, and using the add-on cubes sets for the cube sets that I have. These aren't cheap, I will tell you that. Right now, this is well over $200 for each one of these. Um, so Walter was very generous in his gift giving to me this year but he always is. And uh, I'm looking forward to trying this all out in the very near future. So that takes me to subscribers quilt of the week. And this is somebody that you're already familiar with Russ Rice from Quilt Meets World. If you've already seen the interview that I did with Russ Rice from Quilt Meets World, you will have already seen this quilt. Russ uh, talked about this during his interview, and I put in a couple of pictures, but I didn't think they really did justice to his creation or the process he went through. So I thought I'd show it to you again in this manner. So you see here, this is a quilt, uh, actually an afghan that his mother made. It is crocheted, and it looks like she also made a matching pillow. Well, Russ had seen this design and challenged his mother to finish this afghan while he did the same thing but used uh, quilting cotton and basically made it into a quilt. And here are the two of the finished products side by side. On the left is the one that was crocheted by Russ's mother and the one on the right is the one that he quilted um, following her design. And you can see the quilting that's on here is very, very nice as well. And I believe, and I'm not really completely uh, sure about this, and I think he did mention it in the interview, uh, he did the quilting himself on a friend's long arm. Uh, here's his mother with his quilt. It's a beautiful quilt, and it, I'm really attracted to it for a couple of reasons, uh, not just because it's so well constructed, but also it has stars in it, which I love stars in a quilt, and I also love the color blues. Those are my signature colors, so to speak. Um, and here's Russ with his mother. He's holding his mother's afghan. He's She's holding his quilt. And I think that was a great idea to take something that's done in one, let's say, medium and uh, recreate it in another medium. So, you know, crocheting to quilting. And I suppose it looks like you can do take a quilt design. And if you are a skilled enough crocheter, you could probably uh, transform that into an afghan as well. So thank you, Russ, for showing us these great uh, pictures. And uh, yeah, you should be proud of this. And if you would like to have one of your beautiful creations, whether it's quilting, knitting, crocheting, painting, whatever, featured here on one of my episodes, please, Send me one or two pictures of your item, uh, less than 50 words blurb about it, and you can send it to my email address, which is in the show notes below, and I'd be happy to have it as one of my presentations here on future episodes of The Idiot Quilter. All right, so that takes me to the YouTube channel of the week. This is So Be It Quilts. This week's YouTube channel is called So Be It Quilts, and this is one that I came across while Sean, the guy who sews, put up his trunk show in uh, the tail end of 
December, and this is someone that I was not familiar with. So I'm going to take a look at her uh, YouTube channel today, and I have a whole list of YouTube channels that I found from Sean's uh, trunk show um, that I want to check out in the future as well. So this is the first one, and it's called So Be It Quilts. And uh, you can see here that uh, she has over 10,000 subscribers, so she's very, very popular. And uh, if we look at under popular videos, make your own spray starch. She did a whole uh, quilt mass kind of thing. She has sewing machine reviews, um, denim quilt using old jeans. Uh, let's let's pop up to her playlist because that often gives us a little better understanding of what kind of videos that. Uh, a person has. So already said Jenny's Countdown to Christmas, Advent uh, quilts. Um, now she has had a quilt along, so she does quilt alongs. Uh, pa Paza, Piazza Puzzle, Mystery Quilt, Halloween Crafts, Bliss Quilt Along. It looks like she does a lot of quilt alongs. Quilt supply reviews, handmade bag tutorials, Valentine's Day mini mystery quilt. So she's got mystery quilts as well. And uh, yeah, she has quite a bit here uh, for one to choose from. So I think if you want some tips or tricks, you want some sew alongs, you want some quilt alongs, uh, whatever, this is the site for you. So that's So Be It Quilts. So if you're like me, the new year has inspired you to sort of organize your future projects that you're going to want to complete over the next year. And you probably am making lists of what these are. And if you're like me too, you'll probably only get half the list done. But that doesn't matter. You're planning anyways. Well, one of the things I want to do, and it does involve gnomes, is a gnome table runner by designs by Juju, which I found just before New Year's you know, online on sale, thought it was cute. And so I thought I'd purchase it. And here is what I'm talking about. This week's project is one that, that I just picked up because it was on sale at Designs by Juju. And it's in the hoop gnome table runner. And you know how I love my gnomes. And I saw this and simply had to have it. But as you can see, it's very, very cute. Um, it's a great design, uh, and just fun. And I think you could take this and make it into almost anything you would like for whatever season, because you just pick, uh, fabrics that go with the season. So you can see in this particular one, this probably suggests sort of a springy summery look to it. Um, whereas you have something like this, that might be, well, that's probably even more s springy in color. But if you put in Christmas fabrics, it could become a Christmas gnome. Uh, you could change out the fabric in their hats uh, to uh, anything that you want. So if you wanted a Christmas, you want your gnomes to look a little bit more Christmassy, you could put uh, Christmas fabric in those spots. I think it's a fairly versatile pattern. And I'm looking forward to doing this uh, very, very soon. And once I do, I may do a, a short little tutorial about how to do one of these. I have done in the hoop uh, tutorials before, but I might do one for this as well um, and show you how it all goes together. So yeah, um, I don't think it's on sale now. I think that price was just before uh, New Year's uh, when I purchased it. And uh, so I got it for half price, as you can see on the screen. Um, but, you know, they have sales all the time. All of the embroidery ones do. So, you know, if you see something you like, give it a little bit of time. It may go on for half price. And now this would be the time when I would give you a little teaser for an interview I've done in the past week, but I haven't done any. Russ's uh, interview, which you've probably already seen, was the last one that I've done. I am out of interviews. Um, I have sent out some feelers. I am not getting a lot of response or some of it is being delayed. So if you know of a YouTube uh, creator, a quilter or sewer, um, that you think I should interview, then please pass that information on to me. If you know their contact information, that would be great as well. And I'll look into it. Just keep in mind that I'm not interested in the big names, the Jenny Dones of the world. I want the people who are probably very new to YouTube as well. They may have a very low subscriber base right now, and I want to help them out by exposing what they do 
to the rest of the world, so to speak. So you can just drop me a line about that. Okay, so that takes me to a review of another uh, quilt store online. And it's called Soft Impressions. Um, and uh, I have a little follow up on this one. But first, here's my review of Soft Impressions. This week's online quilt store is one called Soft Impressions. I have never been to this store, uh, but they are located, I believe, in Tilsonburg. Just let me see here. Uh, no, Tilbury. And Tilbury is near a Point Pelee National Park, which is in Ontario. So it's someplace I have never been before. And uh, well, let's check out the what they have online and see if it's worth the drive to Tilbury. Um, so right off the bat on their front page, they show they have long arm rental. Uh, they have two of them uh, for rental, and it looks like one of them is a Lucy anyways, which is what my uh, long arm machine is. Um, they have fabric, they have batting, lighting, all patterns and gifts. Um, long arm classes and rentals and supplies. So they're a dealer, I would assume, for APQS. Let's get off that for a minute. Um, and a product that they're advertising on the front here as well, which looks like it has something to do with long arming. So let's go to fabrics and see what they have. We'll just click on all fabric to start with. And uh, just scanning down. Oh, Catitude Christmas. Oh, I wish I had seen that. Hmm. I might buy some of that for next year. Um. Let's go down a little further. They have about six pages. Let's go to the middle page and see. Oh, that one's that one's really pretty too. So um, yeah, now they're saying that their prices are from. So something that's a blender, for example. Let's see what it's in. Is it in meters? Is it in yard? It's in meters, half quarters and fat quarters. So it's $16.99 a meter that's uh not bad that's a pretty good price actually uh but that's just for a blender so let's go back and look at one of those prints that i'm interested in for example and see what that like this one okay from 950 canadian a meter 1899 well that's still not bad at all um yeah, I love that fabric. I think I'm going to come back after I've done this review and maybe order some of this because I really like that. That's And that's not a bad price. Have to check out their shipping, though. But let's carry on here and look at what they have to offer in pre-cuts. Um, okay, I don't know why this is coming up as a... Oh, that's a jelly roll? Well, I'm white... MS Fabric Solitaire, white jelly roll. Something's not right here. I think there's been a mistake made on that one. Because I don't think it's that. Out of curiosity, how much for a fat quarter? Oh, $59.99. Okay, now I'm really confused. There's something wrong with this. Let's go back and take a look at something else and just see, because I think there's a mistake on that. Yeah, I think there's definitely a mistake on that one. Um, so here they have four study Wilmington prints, 1899. So that's a charm pack by the looks of things. Um yeah, that's a, maybe a little high, but I'm not sure, uh, because of the, the man, manufacturing of it. Okay, so really in pre-cuts, they don't have a lot of selection. Okay, then let's go down to fabric panels. Okay, well, not a lot here. You got that Christmas attitude one, though. That's kind of fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to come back. I think I'm going to buy a few things here because I'm, I'm just seeing something I've never seen before. 
basic blender fabric, themed fabric, miscellaneous fabric, wide backing. Okay, let's check their price on wide backing. Okay, so first of all, selection wise, not bad, not a lot. Um, prices really jump around though. Like this one, $24.99 for these, I'm assuming. That's a meter. That's that's not a bad price. That's not a bad price uh, for wide back. Um, let's go back a second here and take another look at uh, these ones that they're saying four ninety nine. Okay, I am confused. So a fat quarter of that's four ninety nine. Half a meter is nine ninety nine, and a meter is nineteen ninety nine. And is it truly wide back? No, it's not wide back. It says it's 45 inches. So be careful. Um, things seem to be a little bit mixed up. I was in wide backing, and they're calling that wide backing, and that is not wide backing. Um, let's just check this one at $18.99. That is not wide backing. That's 42 inches wide. Wide back would be 108 inches. So yeah, be careful when you're in here. Read the descriptions because things seem to be a little mixed up. That's giving me an uneasy feeling about them. If things are mixed up here on their website, what's it going to be like when you order from them? Are they going to mix up your order? Hmm, now I'm taking it back. Maybe I am not interested in ordering fabric from them um because of that because i'm a little bit afraid that there's going to be a problem okay let's go under patterns seem to have a lot let's look under quilt patterns piece quilt patterns um yeah they have patterns but not a lot not a lot uh it looked like they had bag patterns and tote patterns as well well yeah one Okay, so they don't have a, a, a well-populated store online, I would say, just based on what I'm looking at there. So although they have unusual fabrics uh, that are kind of interesting, as I said, I'm a little worried about ordering something from them because things are mixed up here. Uh, gift cards, notions. Well, they put batting under notions. And yeah they've got the usual again not a big selection though they got bozel and they have batting roll two and a quarter inches by 50 yards okay two and a quarter inches this is like if you're making a jelly roll rug or something like that and then they just have the 80 20 twin size batting for hobs from hobs so really no selection of that either um interfacing and stabilizers Mm, no yeah they they don't seem to be have made they're out of stock something like that i don't know um but why list it if you don't have it let's see if they have tearaway no uh let's see if they have so in stabilizer oh, yes but it's just the the one company and it's that kind of thing so not impressed by that uh really um hardware lighting okay so they sell all right some lights the vivilux all right that's all they have there okay my impression at this point is not a great selection of products um yeah okay lots of marking pens and stuff like that all right long arm i have a feeling that this place is focusing more on long arm products and long arming itself um like you can come in and do your own uh long arming if you wish on their machine um now do they have a long arm service meaning that will they do it for you uh okay they use apqs machines 
they have a valet service for loading your quilt backing onto the frame and they charge you 20 bucks to do that um they'll give you a class on how to use the machine but it doesn't look like they do it for you maybe that's something you can you can ask them about clearance nothing about let's check out their about tilbury ontario you'll find fantastic selection of best quality fabrics notions books but uh, i quite i i question the selection um the owner is lisa hill she started in 1997. They say they're a full service quilt shop offering more than a thousand bolts of 100% quality cotton fabrics. Okay, I don't see a thousand bolts on their website. Maybe in store, it's better offer. Um, and they tell you where they're located. Yeah, maybe the store itself uh, has a better selection of things than they have on their website. Um, they do have free shipping over a hundred dollars in Canada and uh, what is their shipping prices let's see do we have a section on that and they do not seem to so let's do a search for it and see if we can find how much their shipping is if you don't have over a hundred dollars Nope, that didn't take me to anything of use there. All right, let's do a fake fabric. Uh, let's say I want this one. Okay. And it's $18.99 a meter. I'm going to get a couple of meters of that. Add to cart. Go to checkout. Okay. For shipping, shipping method standards, $13.90 for that. Um, not out of the way. You buy over $100 worth, though. It's free. I may still take a chance, just for the sake of this video, and uh, order some more fabrics. And I'll, I'll go over $100, and we'll see what we'll get. Um, but I'll let you know about that. So let's uh, just get rid of this for now and i don't know how to get rid of this i don't know how to get back okay back button start and remove there we go okay i'll get rid of that all right so that is soft impressions what's my impression of soft impressions um they had some fabrics I had never seen before that I'm kind of interested in. Price on fabrics was reasonable. Um, shipping seems to be reasonable as well. And they do offer free shipping over $100. Uh, selection in batting and in notions and things like that, very limited. And in pre-cuts as well, very limited. So if you're looking for fabric that might you've never seen before, it might be worth checking them out. And as I said, I have a feeling, and just looking at the pictures or scrolling across the screen, it looks to me like they have much more to choose from in store than they do online. So that's Soft Impressions. Now, after I reviewed Soft Impressions and you saw some of the fabrics that I was really interested in, especially the Christmas fabric with the cats, I placed an order. Uh, their prices were good and shipping price was okay. So I placed an order with them, but I ran into a little bit of a complication. Now, this was kind of a comedy of errors, I have to say. Um, at first, I was a little concerned about this, but it has all worked out fine. So this is not a criticism of soft impressions. Um, as I said, I placed an order, which I'm st I'm waiting for, which is fine. That's It should arrive. I think it's going to arrive sometime this week. There were some holidays in between, right? So, of course, that interferes with shipping. Um but what happened, speaking of shipping, is it did say that it, uh, an order over $100 was free shipping. Uh, my order was over $100 uh, before taxes, and they charged me shipping. I didn't realize that until I checked out. So I sent them an email and said, hey, I thought you had free shipping, and, they, and you charged me for shipping. They sent me back an apology and said they would refund my credit card. 
and they did try to. At least it looked like it, except instead of it being a refund, it was an extra charge for the shipping again. So now I've paid for shipping twice. At least I thought I had. Um, I sent them a note about that. They were very apologetic, uh, suggested that they could send me a check instead because this was kind of new to them. Um, going through, they were going through Shopify. And so basically what they were saying is, I guess we made a mistake, you know? Um, and so they were quite willing to refund it properly by sending me a check, which is kind of old school. Then they sent me another email right after that one, after I said, sure, that would be fine. I said, how about e-transfer? And I said, sure, even better. So they did. They e-transferred me the money and everything like that. Then I went in and checked my visa account again. And guess what? That shipping charge did come off. I don't know. It was something with visa. That was really weird. So meanwhile, I wrote right back to Soft Impressions and said, hey, here's the situation. Actually, the refund did go through. I'll send you back your extra, the money that you sent me to cover that uh i'll do it by e-transfer and i did and they thanked me before being so honest well yeah i'm not trying to get something for nothing here i'm not trying to screw anybody out but i guess why i'm telling you this is they are fairly new to online commerce i think so there may be some growing pains so you know Double check your order if you order anything from them online in the terms of the billing and that, just in case. Um, and if you do have a problem, reach out to them. They'll they'll definitely get back to you. Customer service seems to be really, really good. So I just added that in as a little extra to that review. And when that fabric comes, I will be showing it on a future episode of The Idiot Quilter. Okay, so that takes me pretty much to the end of today's episode except with a, a couple of other little items first of all craft and chat first wednesday of the month that comes very quickly on the heels of the big so day which was a great success i think we had about 40 people on new year's day at the height of it and uh, i got a lot done other people seem to get a lot done and we combined it later in the day with a stephen and walter live which if you haven't seen that broadcast uh go ahead and check it out he says then you'll understand what we did and it was a lot of fun and i was really glad the technology worked that day but we have craft and chat january the 4th which at the time of recording this is tomorrow um starting at 1 p.m so bring along whatever you want to work on whether it's sewing painting whatever anything creative and whatnot and enjoy a little time to work on things and have a little bit of fun with other people and probably learn something too from other people as well and if you've never done a craft and chat before don't be hesitant everybody is very supportive very friendly as you're going to find it's a very safe environment to be a creator in um there is going to be a collab a couple of collabs that i am working in conjunction with stephanie stitches uh with as well we haven't made the announcement about those yet but that's coming very very soon so watch this space for that as they say and so I think that's about it for me this week. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a great year. And we'll see you next week. Bye for now.